Thank you. Graduates, parents, families, friends, guests, distinguished members of the faculty, college staff, and all others who are here joining us today, I welcome you to this happy occasion and I thank you for being here to bear witness to this important moment in the lives of our students. Now, with your collective permission, I would like to address my remarks directly to our students. Graduates, congratulations, you did it. <laughs> Getting to this moment is a major accomplishment, and we honor the hard work, the tough choices, and the sacrifices which helped you get here today. Back in May of 2004, when I was preparing a different commencement address, I came across the following headline in the New York Times science section. It read, globe grows darker as sunshine diminishes 10 to 37 percent. The first sentence of the article read, quote, in the second half of the 20th century, the world became quite literally a darker place. End quote. Recently, I learned that scientists are continuing to study this phenomenon, which is called global dimming. And the consensus in the larger scientific community is that it seems to be true. Basically, while the radiance of our sun has not diminished, the amount of light that reaches us here on Earth has dropped significantly. So think about that for a second. Our world is growing darker. Now let's think about how we live in the world. We seem to have lost our way. We seem to have forgotten that we need one another. We have grown fearful and suspicious. We are increasingly concerned with acquiring rather than with sharing. And we are fractured by difference and act as if life is a zero-sum game, that the only way for me to get ahead is to pull someone else down. Many of our so-called leaders lie without compunction. And rather than trying to elevate the discussion to focus on the common good, they pander shamelessly to fear, hatred, and special interests. Like all bad performers, they will say and do anything to get applause. Indeed, it does seem like the world has become a darker place. So, what do we need? Well, if we were in Gotham City, the bat signal would be blazing across the sky because we need Superheroes. <laughs> okay, okay. Before I get too carried away, uh, let's define terms. So for that exercise, I'm going to turn to that great scholarly reference, uh, the Urban Dictionary. Superhero, quote, a being with extraordinary physical or mental powers far beyond the range of normal human ability, who uses these powers to protect the innocent and for the general good, end quote. In other words, you. Now, some of you may be thinking, me? What? I'm not a superhero. Really? Let's see. Extraordinary physical powers. As Columbia students, you never give up. Your ability to gut it out is second to none. You know how to endure countless sleepless nights, ignoring food, and in severe cases, personal hygiene, uh, <laughs> in order to meet with what others call impossible deadlines. Impossible, you say? Watch this. Boom! Extraordinary physical power? Check. How about extraordinary mental powers. As Columbia students, you face complexity and ambiguity. And what do you do? You laugh, ha ha! You encounter 
tired social conventions. And what do you do? You raise your lip into a sneer. You scoff, and you go about your business, refusing to conform. Bam! You see a situation that others say has no solution. And what do you do? You look at it from a different perspective, apply your creative problem-solving skills, and you solve it. Wham! <laughs> Extraordinary mental powers? Check. Uh, there's one more thing about superheroes. Uh, if you think about it, they tend to be rather scary, and trust me, you're scary. <laughs> you know why? Because you insist on discovering that which is true and authentic, and you see beyond the surface of things. Kapow! <laughs> uh, oh, and by the way, uh, a lot of you already have that colorful super, superhero look thing down. Oh, snap! <laughs> so, you see? You see? You are superheroes. And the world needs you, particularly because of the last part of that definition. Remember, uses these powers to protect the innocent and the general good. And I'm confident, because you're Columbia students, that you are prepared to do just that. So now it's time for the superhero induction ceremony. So would all graduates please stand? Thank you. Okay. And now, I'm going to ask that you join me in what is known as the Triple S, better known as the Secret Superhero Salute, which I'm going to demonstrate for you now. Are you there with me? Okay, good. All right, now, please, while holding the salute, please re repeat after me. I, I state your name. I superhero that I am, hereby pledge to use my superpowers to protect the innocent and for the greater good. Thank you, please be seated. Now I want you to think about what you've just pledged to do, to use your abilities and your skills and your profound understanding of the human condition to advance the greater good. That's something worth living for. So let me tell you this, actually, I don't think the world is a dark place. My path has always been illuminated by the care and the love of many. If you are open and generous of spirit, people will come into your lives who want to help you. Learning to let others help you is a skill you may have yet to learn. Never forget that one of the biggest lies out there is the myth of the self-made person who achieves success all on their own through sheer brilliance, force of will, and determination. Determination. Graduates, you can search the world high and low, and you will never find anyone who truly succeeded all by themselves. Yes, of course, successful people work hard, incredibly hard. They learn from their failures, and they are relentless in their pursuit of excellence and authenticity. But you can be sure that for each success story, there was someone else who recognized the ability and the talent and who opened a door. Your success will come from others who see you and who choose to help you. So this is a great moment to evaluate your people skills and to think about how you treat others. Okay, we're almost done. Uh, as Columbia soon to be alumni, you know, you, I know you have each experienced many times Mark Kelly's hell yeah liturgy. Last year, I added a new call and response to the Columbia lexicon that I like to call the yes, I will affirmation. So it's very simple. 
Your response to me after I call out a couple th a series of sentences is hopefully, yes, I will. Let's practice that just to get in the mood. So remember, I'll count to three, and then I'd like to hear, yes, I will. Robustly, please. One, two, three. Could we try that again, please? One, two, three. Now that sounds like Columbia. Okay, here we go. You ready? Graduates, will you show up on time? Yes, I will. Good, because you know my number one rule for success is be on time. All right, graduates, will you do what you say you are going to do? Excellent, because once you get tagged as being unreliable, you might as well stay home. Graduates, will you take time to listen to other people's stories? Outstanding, because being a good listener will separate you from the crowd. Graduates, will you show compassion to others? Thank you, because until you have walked in another's shoes, you don't have the right to judge. Graduates, will you take full responsibility for your choices and their consequences? Fantastic, because you all know that the three verbs which characterize all losers are to blame, to complain, and to whine. Graduates, Will you live with gratitude for what you have and who you are? Yes, I will. yes, each of us is blessed many times over. We must never forget that. And finally, graduates, will you always aim high? Yes, I will. Terrific. As Columbia students, I expect nothing less of you. So, take your next steps with full belief in yourselves and your aspirations. There is no joy in pursuing someone else's dream, and spending your life being what you think others want you to be is a formula for despair. In a world that seems to have grown darker, let your light shine, let your voice be heard, have faith in the goodness and bounty of the universe, and let your courage surface. Congratulations. <laughs>